Hello my dear students, how are you all? Welcome to Diksha Karnataka YouTube channel. Today I am here with a very important session. What is that? It's a quick revision video for your comic examination for mathematics. Okay. So uh, today we are going to talk about what's uh, the chapters that is to be you know, without skipping. We have to practice those, revise the formulas from. Okay. That is a must. We are going to uh, look at those chapters from both PU1 and PU2 basically from grade 11 and grade 12. Okay. Apart from that, I'll, I'm going to give you all chapters, formulas and everything. Okay. So it's going to be a very big uh, slides. You have to go through all of that again we'll provide you the class notes as well for this particular session make sure that you're gonna go through it okay it's very very important let's start so what we have over here please check so first if you check over here in the pu2 category we have uh integral calculus differential calculus vector and 3d matrix and determinant and probability with the questions of 8 5 8 7 4 okay again there was no so this is not analysis given by any of this thing so i have went through your uh, previous year questions okay and then picked out there were eight questions from the 2024 from integral calculus what it means is from the chapter aoi and integration both definite and indefinite kind total eight questions came in the previous year again go back and get five questions over here what is the meaning of no questions over here what it means is so the book I followed what they must have done is whatever questions was asked over here and similar question has been repeated over here here as well so they have not kept those year questions otherwise yes so every year you can expect almost five to six questions from the integral calculus same goes over here six question on an average from differential calculus vector 3d again seven to eight questions can be asked material determinant is also there five six questions can be asked over here probability four questions can be asked this year as well so these are the pu2 high weighted chapters if you check on the pu1 side what we have we have set relation and function which is very easy five questions can come from this year as well sequence and series again two to three questions can come from here two questions you can see minimum of that can come from here so conic section at least three to four questions can come from the conic section yes three and four questions can come from conic section for sure trigonometry if you see again three questions can come from trigonometry as well and straight lines two questions can come so these are the high weighted chapters from pu1 side as well i hope you can see this pu2 is here pu1 is here so very very important to know this again if you go ahead in this notes that you have uh, you'll have all chapters please check here all chapters relation and functions if you check here the formulas of types of relation reflexive relation symmetric relation transit relation like that everything is given chapter wise okay i can show you for all these chapters inverse of a function so this basic formula should be memorized okay properly because what happens during the examination that is going to be there tomorrow of course you have to be very very ready with the formulas okay because uh, i'm telling you almost 30 odd questions will be direct approach based question out of 60 questions that is coming your way 30 odd questions will be direct approach based questions so for that if you take time you will not give justice to the other 30 questions other 20 questions which is challenging in nature which is lengthy in nature you know that comet case is a little difficult than the case examination so will be there will be lengthy questions at least eight to nine questions will be very very lengthy okay other will be a little challenging as well so total 15 questions might be difficult for you okay so the 30 which is very easy has to be done very right all of them has to be right and they have to be done very quickly so that can happen only when if you have completely prepared your uh, you know formulas properly okay for that this is a, a session that you have inverse of a function please check when you find inverse for one on one two okay so again, I've given you all these properties. Again, if you check over here, what we what is the important formula that is over here? First one, number of relations from A uh, set A to set B, 2 power M and N, where M is the size or the cardinal number of set A, and N is the set or basically cardinal number of set B. Okay. Again, this formula is also important. So number of functions from A to B, that is also very important formula. N to power M. It's one of the question in the PYQ has been asked on this. N power M. If you go ahead and check this out, this is also very important. Number of bijections M to N. Okay. When the two sets have same cardinal number, you get the answer as simply n factorial. Okay, so conditions are there. Very important to know this. Very very important. Okay, chale. Great. So uh, one more thing to understand here: n has to be always greater than or equal to m. Then only you can write the bijections. Okay. Then only you can write the bijections or one-on-one function. Moving on. Please check. ITF again dear, this domain and range of ITF is very very important, extremely important, not only in the questions of ITF but also wherever you know there is a question uh, for domain and, func domain and range is asked for multiple functions, for example I have sine inverse divided by root function, we have done, we have done those questions right, remember in our top 50 also we have done and we have done in the uh, other comet launchpad sessions as well, so those sessions, uh, those questions where we are talking about domain range problems right, you have to remember these uh, domain and range of sine inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse function, at least these three should be there, if not tan, if not not uh, second verse, cosec inverse, cot inverse, but minimum of these three has to be remembered here. Okay, what is that? Sine inverse, cos inverse, and tan inverse. The first three is highly important for both domain and range. Okay. 
okay and you of course you know the principal value 0 to pi by 2 uh, for second verse and cos second verse is there no need to remember this but first three is highly important okay Chali. what else we have uh, this basic identities yes you can see this again the simple and very important used in the question there was a p by q based upon combination of these functions okay uh, where is the where is the minus sign there's the pi minus operation comes please check for the case of cos we have pi minus cos inverse of x whenever dealing with cos inverse of x no we have pi minus cos of inverse x whereas in case of inverse uh, uh, operating with sine you have only minus sine inverse of x same goes this is same as tan also and cos remains same for cot also and sec also will be the same so basically check here sine tan and cosec will have same approach sine tan okay please check i can give you uh, i hope i'm audible yeah so please check here these three sine tan and cosec are same and cos cot and sec is same for this you'll have what here you'll have pi minus for cos cot and second verse will have pi minus the angle if you're operating with the minus sign and for others you'll have uh, what you're going to have simply minus cosec inverse minus tan inverse minus sign inverse okay works and this also is very very important formula there was a pyq on this remember e power something was there so sine inverse plus uh, cos inverse is given by pi by 2 for the same value a and a same goes for the combination of tan and cot and sec and cosec value is always pi by 2 okay Chali. So double and half angle, if you check, again you have formulas like this, two in tan inverse of, of this is an uh, important formula, sir. Sine inverse formula in terms of tan also is very important. Cos inverse formula in terms of tan also very important. So these two over here and these all three is highly important formulas. You remember it? Of course you will. Okay. Now matrices, if you check here in this, in the chapter matrices, what is very important? To know the skew symmetric matrix. Okay. The property of that. Uh, symmetric matrix property. Okay. Complement of a matrix property right uh, a joint of a matrix will come in the determinant part but yeah that is also important okay matrix multiplication is important got it so these things are important uh, based upon these only the pyqs can be asked okay so you have to understand and remember those properties the last three is highly important okay what else we have operation of matrices this is easy you know that very well how to add the matrix okay again you have to order has to be the same in the multiplication there's a certain way number of uh, columns in the first matrix has to be same as number of rows in the second matrix we know that right number of columns in the first matrix same as number of rows in the second matrix that is a must okay that's for multiplication again properties of uh, you have uh, addition over subtraction over uh, multiplication over addition and then you have transpose of matrix properties as well you have to remember this i know you already know it but it's not about just knowing it if you feel this that i know the formula that is not good enough when the question comes the formula should be in your mind directly it should be you cannot take one minute of time to remember the formula you cannot take that much of time to remember the formula it has to come directly means you have to just keep going through it last minute from today onwards don't need to practice questions okay it's okay whatever is done is done go back now formulas 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 for maths especially you cannot wait for the formulas to come to you okay i've done that mistake when i was a student okay i'll wait for the formula to come to me because i know the formula sir that's not good enough formula should be in your mind right the question comes on matrices the formula regarding that particular question should be in your mind directly should come you will not guess it will not okay what was it was it n minus one or was it n only it should not be the case okay you cannot take if you do that you'll end up losing marks in the simple questions that's very 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 bad for all of us okay so make sure that you are somebody who has uh, who knows all the formulas by heart okay it's unfair to ask but i know this is this is how it's going to be uh, this is the requirement of the examination and you have to do that okay so this is the matrices let's continue the determinant part again in this determinant of uh, those remember uh, in determinant question if you see the pyqs that question has been repeated all the time a b c like this they give like this they give and you get the formula of a q plus b q plus c q minus 3 a b c wala form a q plus b q plus c q minus 3 a b c form that is an important question okay so i hope you know how to solve it a plus b plus c bracket you have the formula right a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a remember that we get a plus b plus c as zero or a, uh, a equal to b equal to c correct now nah? we have done that I've, ta I've taught you all the, those questions not a problem but still i'm telling you that is very important property of determinant is also very important sir for transpose, for product, for entity matrix, for inverse, okay? So again, all of this is very important. This condition is also very, very important, these two. A lot of questions can be solved using these two properties. Two rows or columns are identical, determinant of A is zero. A row or column is multiple of another, again, let's say you have one, two, three, and you have two, four, six. You have one, two, three, and you have two, four, six. Whatever is over here doesn't matter, okay? So whatever is over here, let's say I have X, Y, Z, answer will be what, dear? zero if two rows or column are equal or if two rows or column are multiple of another 
okay then what will happen simply determinant will be simply determinant will be zero yes we use this a lot in the questions actually okay in the py case if you see what else we have it's very very important to remember all these formulas determinant and cofactors so i have taken all the chapters formula okay so i think almost 150 plus slides have taken for this particular notes you have to go through it and revise all of them very very important okay yes what you can do is take a you know in the notes only if you can print it out very good print it out and uh, or if you have a you know uh, ipad or something like that available with you uh, keep a pen on the notes and start striking it out which you want to remember okay so striking it out those formulas you want to remember i've given all of them but what you want to remember the most important ones okay so for the limits again you have the condition that limit should exist and should be equal to the function value limit this means what dear it means limit exist and this means equal to function means should be continuous it should be continuous sir okay so uh, when they are equal means this is called as functions limit existing when this is equal means we can say that limit exist correct and exists and should be equal to function value at that point f of a it means what dear it means function is continuous in nature okay now again you have to check for differentiability also what are you going to do for that you're going to look for sharp corners or uh, the approach of algebra which is going to be what uh, this one you have to find the rhd lhd what is the approach sir first redefine the function at the critical point and check the uh, find the derivative on both the junctures left hand derivative and right hand derivative if they're equal means they'll be uh, the function will be differentiable in nature otherwise it'll be non-differentiable in nature okay if the function is coming out as let's say non uh, not continuous it'll simply become non-differentiable we know that right a function which is not continuous will be non-differentiable directly not a problem okay so like this we have for differentiability this is the first uh, principle of de derivative okay f of a plus h minus f of a upon h when h tends to zero in the limits will be given by f dash at the point a f dash at the point a please check a plus h is there now okay this is the derivative of the function f at the point a given by the first principle of derivative okay so again uh, when the point when the function is discontinuous it is called as non-differentiable okay when you have sharp corners non-differentiable cups basically a uh, power is uh, 2 by 3 x is equal to 0 okay and uh, vertical tangents also function is non-differentiable okay some formulas are there this i hope you already know that right but yeah please it's not about just knowing it's about memorizing them and by hearting them okay it should come like this in the examination when you're writing a question when you're solving a question i mean yeah what else we have derivative rules yes quotient rule product rule i've given you short tricks or uh, tricks also on these please go and watch the tricks video for that okay i've given you tricks wherever it's possible to uh, you know use the tricks increasing decreasing function it's a highly important topic very very important topics increasing decreasing function okay so yes don't worry i'll don't i'll not take much of your time okay this is a very short video i wanted to come here and show you what you should do how you should do it and that's what you're going to get the notes of this particular session and from there simply revise all the formulas that's the goal of the session okay sorry uh so maximum minimum if you check here what is there sir this is a uh, first derivative. usually we don't use this much but sometimes it is useful because second derivative will be difficult to find for some question it will be difficult let's say uh, there's a quotient rule involved in the second derivative if there is a quotient tool involved in the second derivative it'll take a lot of time to solve that then what we can do is simply first derivative sign we can find out the sign change plus to minus means what will happen here point of maxima plus to minus right this is plus side my side this will be local maxima think about this this lines this side slope is positive now acute angle this side slope will be negative right this side slope is obtuse angle right so negative this is acute angle so positive so plus to minus means local maxima and when you have minus to plus means like this please check you'll have local minima this is acute over here and goes and sorry obtuse here and goes here becomes acute so we are getting from minus to plus it becomes local minima minus to plus local minima works okay pakka moving on what we have next uh, so again absolute maxima minima for this you have to check for the boundaries as well a and b so find the value of the function at the a and b if that also is going to be higher than both of them whichever point is that that will be called as absolute maxima let's say i have this uh, point here given as some point c okay some point c is taken in between yeah yeah, basically uh, all the critical points and the end points a and b you're going to consider whichever of those has the highest value will be called as absolute maxima okay let's say i have five critical points so i'm going to find the uh, value of the function at five critical points and the end points as well okay once you do that you have to check for the highest value that will be called as uh, absolute maximum value okay and lowest is called as absolute minimum value 
Of course, there's a rate uh, in the AOD. You also have the uh, rate of change questions. Remember, volume change or speed change. You know, the acceleration questions are there. So please understand those questions can also be expected to come this year as well. Okay, integrals. Again, there are a lot of formulas in integrals, so you have to remember all of these formulas, whether it is trigonometry based, whether it is exponential function based, all of this is highly important, okay? You have to remember all these formulas. By parts is one of the highest important formula that you have to take. Again, I've given you some tricks in the integration, so please go ahead and learn that in the trick session, okay? So, uh, inverse trigonometric function integrals are there, okay? Uh, this is again a very important topic in integrals, which is using substitution, integration using substitution, okay? You look for the derivative and use that. Next, what we have saw, some standard integrals. This is also very important because if you don't remember these formulas, you can't solve these questions at all, okay? So you have to use this formula. So the formulas will be very, very important in the, in the integrals part, okay? Whether it is dealing with uh, by parts, whether it is dealing with particular functions, partial fractions, or special functions, okay? You have to remember all these formulas for sure. Okay, so all the list is given to you. I'm very sure that you're gonna remember the formulas. I've given you the trick for this part as well. For this first one, which is the important one for you, trick has been shared, go ahead, check it out. Trick video has been given to you. Check this out. That's going to be very, very important and time saving for all of you. Okay, great. So likewise, you have different integral properties. The properties of this is highly important here. Properties, whatever properties are, the properties like, first one can be even odd function property even odd function property second one can be uh, limit interchange property limit interchange remember we used to take that uh, if there's a minus sign we can make it uh, let's say a to b is there now i can use a minus sign over here write it as b to a correct if i have here a to b this can be written as b to a sorry can be written as b to a with a minus sign with a minus sign, b to a with a minus sign, can be written like that, okay? So even odd function is there, then we have a property where we use, remember this property, replace x by upper limit plus lower limit minus x, basically, if I have, let's say, a plus b minus x, this property, King's method is also there, remember these properties are highly important, okay, to solve the questions, this is clear, right? Uh, AOI, Simple problems can be asked over there. Uh, I have done all the PYQs. Go ahead and check it out and learn from them if you have to. Otherwise, formulas will be good enough for all of you. So, Acha, don't worry. Uh, in the AOI part, please remember some standard formulas. For ellipse is there. Uh, for uh, parabola and line is there. For circle is there. So please remember all those important formulas for all those cases. Okay? Pi AB, pi A, pi A square is there. Okay? In the case of circles and like that. Okay, so uh, DE, sir, in DE we have uh, three forms of questions coming your way. First question can be coming on or must be coming on order and degree uh, problem. Means what is the order, what is the degree? They'll give you the question, you have to understand that very clearly. Degree is not defined if the function is, if the derivative is a function of sine cos like that. Derivative has to be a function of what? Polynomial kind. Then only the degree will be defined. Otherwise, not defined. Degree is not defined in the other cases. Okay. So that question is very important. Order degree problem. Then what else you have, sir? You have over there LDE questions also. You have linear differential equation questions also available for all of you. So you have to remember both the forms, dx by dy form of LDE and dy by dx form of LDE is also highly important. Second after that will be what here? I think, yeah, the questions on the homogeneous differential equation. Homogeneous differential equation is also your way. Not difficult ones, but simple ones will be there where you simplify the approach by taking y equal to uh, vx like that. And then simply what are you going to do after that? You use variable separable approach to solve the differential equation, which is going to be simply in integration by separating the variables dv and dx on each of the sides okay so i hope you are getting the picture now so i have given you all the list of formulas you will please go through it and download the uh, all these formulas and of course what are you going to do learn them by heart them so i'm not going to take a lot of your time this is good enough okay you have to download this session's pdf and then start what start revising the formula that's the must Okay, so with this I can end the session today, I think, and uh, I wish you all the best. This was the last effort from my side. Uh, again, uh, whatever, within the remaining time that we have, you have to just relax. Uh, take care of yourself, be positive. Okay, remember the formulas, revise the formulas, highly, highly important. The 30 questions will be, you know, that has to be done for sure. Other questions we'll see that later, right now. 30 out of 60 should be for sure. That's come from the formulas. Works. So with this, I'm going to end the session today. Till then, I'm going to see you again uh, very soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.